Hello guys and welcome. I just recently upgraded my internet to 500 down and 50 up. And boy, are these speeds ridiculous. So what I'm doing now is trying to find dedicated servers to download off of. Uh, so what I was doing before was I was trying a few other different programs and things like that that I knew I could download, but it really felt like I was limited to how fast that server could send me that information. Um, so what I later found out in downloading some games was I was finding bottlenecks, not only in the way I was receiving the packets, also how I was writing the packets. So I was seeing a limitation on how fast I could write to my mechanical drives. And then I also switched over and went to the M.2 one terabyte hard drive that I have uh, and did some writes there. So we're gonna go over some equipment real quick on things that uh, we're using like the modem and the router, uh, things like that. And then we're also gonna discuss some of the settings that I changed for my uh, gigabit ethernet port. Uh, and then also how we are using some of task manager to prioritize the programs for downloading and allocating some of the spaces for the hard drives and then we're also going to be monitoring uh, you know the processing power we're going to be monitoring uh, the write speeds to some of the drives uh, and there's also something pretty crazy here with these uh, platter drives that I'll show you where it drops off for a split second because it's getting overloaded and then picks, picks back up so we'll go over that in a little while so time to go over a little bit of the equipment here this is the modem that we're using this is the one i'm running from my isp it's an aris dg 3270 uh, it is capable of 1.6 gigabit that's what i was able to find on google uh, there's really not a whole lot of information on this modem here but i will be up Upgrading uh, to my personal which I don't know if you call it an upgrade but it is a Motorola surfboard 6190 which is also capable of that 1.6 gigabit as well the Aris modem I'm using is also a complete wireless gateway with a router built in I went ahead and put that into bridge mode as we are using uh, my personal router which is an Asus RT AC87U uh, this thing is awesome it has adaptive QoS in it it's got all kind of great features in it. It's got its built-in IA cloud. It's amazing. Uh, and it also claims uh, and boasts speeds on its five gigahertz network for up to uh, 1734 megabits per second. That's on the 802.11 AC. Uh, with gigabit ethernet ports for the LAN, this router more than handles everything that I'm able to throw at it right now. Now on to some of the hardware for the rig. It is a 7700K processor overclocked to 4.7. We have 17 total terabytes of storage, one terabyte of that being a M.2 uh, Gen 3x4 hard drive, uh, which we'll go into more detail on how that was beneficial for some of these uh, download speeds that we'll see later on. Now, as you may have noticed, I was just pointing out the speeds that it was reaching it was almost going past our peak before it kind of just nosedived and you can see here in the chart where it just dipped off it was getting overloaded and then i guess it finished writing what it needed to and then went straight back up to a hundred now i found this interesting to be a bottleneck here to where i was having a hard time reaching over 50 megabits per second uh, when I did some of my speedtest.net speeds, I was getting well over 600, even though we're only paying for 500. Uh, so I know it's capable of putting through more uh, without being bottlenecked by the server I was downloading from or being bottlenecked by hardware. So that is something that I was definitely having problems with, with 500 gigabit down. Uh, so moving forward, I started thinking, I was like, okay, so what can I do to improve these speeds? I said, well, let me start downloading something on my M.2 C drive. So I said, let's get World of Warcraft downloaded. It's a good solid 40 gigabyte file. I said, you know, this is gonna be pretty awesome, steady transfer speeds that we can just kind of watch and monitor and, you know, get googly eyed at. And what I found was, 
it was really having a hard time getting up there. So what I did was I went to you know task manager, I set it as a high priority saying, look, whatever we're doing, we're writing right now, we're writing this, we're making sure we're downloading it, we're doing everything we need to. And as you can see here, you know, we're, we're getting good download speeds, we're um, not anywhere near the usage for this device. So I'm sitting here like, okay, so what's holding it up now? What what could be holding us back now? We're chilling at this 27, 28, right around 30 megabytes a second down. I know it's not the processor. You know, what could it be? As you can see, our usage is almost near nothing on this hard drive. So I did some investigating and I remember looking back on one of Linus Tech Tips videos. He actually went in to the gigabit driver for Intel and changed some of the settings in there to receive bigger packets, to use more processing power, uh, and to also queue based off how many processing cores you had. So I did go in there, do some of that. I didn't capture that, um, unfortunately, but you know, you could go check out some of his tech tip stuff. Um, and he's got that stuff posted everywhere. Um, so anyway, back on track. I'm downloading, still downloading at this 2530, and I'm just wondering when are my speeds going to pick up. So I say, you know what, let me test if my network is even being challenged, right? So let me see if maybe I can get another download going and see if I can pull, you know, maybe the other 30 megabytes a second from Steam and then have that 2530 going on through Battle.net. So uh, it actually took a little while here and uh, we'll probably just go ahead and skip through until both of them start going. It took a while for the um, Steam client to fully show uh, and allow us to download from their server. It was it had so much allocation setup time. Um, the pre-allocating, it says it right there. Um, you know, it's a pretty big file. Figured this would be a good one to download but it took so long for it to actually set up for us to download. So like I said, we'll skip forward a little bit and then uh, we'll pick it back up here in a moment. All right, so save a little time skipping through there. The Steam download is about to pick up and start going. So now we'll be able to kind of watch both at the same time and see if we're able to receive that full 500 megabit down. And as you can see, I'm already setting priority, making sure it's set to high on both uh, the Battle.net client, double checking that one. And then we're also gonna check the Steam client to make sure that one is set to high as well. We want everything we've got going into making sure we're reading and writing everything. So CPU usage is up a little bit. We're still sticking around that 25 megabits per second there. And look at, we're up there in the 30s, almost into the 40s over there on Steam. So we're definitely getting the throughput of, you know, 50 megabytes per second, over 500 megabits per second. Um, but as you can still see, that E-Drive was still nosing off a little bit. We're seeing some data here come through on how, how many megabits per second we're using. So this is pretty cool information you can monitor as well to make sure you're actually using you know, what you're paying for. So going back up, it looks like our C drive is barely being used at all, but you can still see where our E drive, this is our mechanical drive here, one of our Western Digitals, it's kind of getting stuck on some of these write speeds. It's still kind of nosing off, even though it's staying, you know, in that under 30 megabyte per second download and transfer write speeds. So back over here to the C drive, just staying on top of it, checking out some of this usage, looking at our internet usage, pretty happy with what's going on here. It's good to see that those speeds are up there in the ranges that we're paying for. So that's always good to see. Now, as you noticed, a lot of this uh, in the background on the Steam and on Battle.net, those speeds are jumping back and forth a little bit. So um, I think what's really going on here is we're really getting limited in Bottleneck by 
how much we can get off those servers and also by the platter disk drive. So there was something really interesting that happened later uh, whenever I stopped the download on that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I said, you know what, seen enough here. I know there's a bottleneck on the platter drive, so we're gonna skip that. I want it just to go ahead and like, wow, finish fully downloading, and then, you know, we'll take a look at those speeds if they pick up at all. Alright, so we just went ahead and skipped that Advanced Warfare download. Wasn't a game I really wanted to play. But one thing I noticed is once when I reached Optimal over here, my speeds definitely picked up. Look at these 40s, 50s. You even saw a little bit of mid 50s there for a little while. And we go over here to check out the hard drive. The hard drive's not even sweating. It's like, bring it on. Look at that 55, 56. It's getting up there, 58. Uh, later on, you'll see where it hits kind of 59 for a split second, and that's almost to that 600 megabit speed, which is 100 more than what we're paying for. So it's really great to see those speeds come through. So just to kind of go over everything, the bottlenecks that we're seeing are both from the mechanical hard drives. Apparently, you know, they can only take in so much. Um, so if you're going to be using 500 megabit or more, I would definitely suggest make sure your downloads are going to a solid state hard drive that can handle the incoming speeds. Not only that, the server you're downloading off of, they obviously limit what you can download. You can see that we were only able to get 30 megabit megabytes up to the optimal level. And once when we hit optimal levels, they were like, go crazy, have fun. So that's pretty much it guys wrapping it up i uh, i hope you enjoyed the little video here and kind of some of the bottlenecks that i found um i'm really happy with my 500 megabit internet uh i i, I mean look at it can you can you be upset really like are you not happy with your 30 megabit down or megabytes down excuse me i'm still having a hard time converting all this you know bit byte yada 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 but either way guys i do appreciate you stopping by give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down let me know in the comments if you liked it or disliked it